So, Mystic Veil. Um, I'm just going to get into this. I'll show you guys the bug later whenever there's more people around. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to do it both times. So here's the bug I found. I just, I literally found it in the first three minutes. I haven't even played the game. I just turned it on. I tried to do something and I broke it. So if you go into settings, now if you're looking on this screen, it says it's windowed. And you can't tell what my desktop looks like because I have it set to the windowed version. But... Here's the problem. If you look at what my desktop actually looks like, which is this view, it's windowed because I have a 1440p. However, they don't have a 1440p, but that's not the bug. That's just something that kind of makes me angry because wh why wouldn't you? I mean, some people have 4K monitors. It's not hard to give somebody give you that one extra video setting. Anyways, here's the problem. When I started the game, it looked fine. It was full screened at 1080p, but because I changed the windowed, when you click it back, watch this. Ugh. And there's no way to change that setting. So then the first time you ever change to this window to try to give yourself 1440p, guess what? You're never gonna get it again. Well, you may. It just may take a while for them to update it. Then you're gonna have to play everything in windowed. And when you go back to windowed, ugh, it's in this teeny tiny mode. So you have to flip it over and just guess where the 1920 and 1080p is. So because I broke everything and I don't know how to fix it because it's clearly a bug in their code, I'm going to play with all you guys set on the window screen so you can't see all this other crap that I got going on around me. Bug found. Now let's see what else we can find. Honestly, I don't remember how to play this game, so we're in for a bit of adventure. I should, maybe I could do learn to play. Let's see, let's do learn to play. The basics. Go away. Yelling at the dog, not a child. Oh no. Facebook's gonna make noises the whole time I'm streaming. Welcome to Mystic Vale. In this deck building card game, you will take on the role of a druidic clan attempting to restore cursed lands to their former validity. To do this, you must you will do this by using a deck of cards which represents parts in the valley that you are tasked with revitalizing. You will buy advancements and add them to your cards to bring them to life and vitalize and vitality to that part of the land. I could never narrate books. As more grows in your valleys, so does your powers, in which it will it, and <laughs> and with it the spirits and nature to revive the mi miraculous veils. Really bad at reading. Each turn, you will play cards into the fields and you will add powerful enhancements to those cards to help you earn victory points. The player with the, with the most victory points at the end of the game wins. The screen is divided into three areas. This is the display of cards which can be bought during the game. Divided into level one and level two cards, four of each level, they are drawn at the start of each game. The enhancements are drawn into this section. Players can buy these to use them um, to upgrade cards in their deck, creating a more powerful deck as the game progresses. This is the player area. You can see your current resources, your field, your discard pile, on deck, and purchase veil cards here. This is your deck with the on deck card on top. This is your field. At the end of your turn, whatever card, whatever cards are here will be moved to the discard pile. The field then replenishes with cards from your deck. Your field will automatically be replenished at the end of your turn until you accumulate three active decaying, decaying icons across your fields and on deck card. 
This is the discard pile. It is where your field cards are moved once the turn is ended and you enter the discard prep hat phase or if you utilize an advancement to discard a specific card, it is currently emptied as nothing has been discarded yet. You can switch between viewing your field top button, that's this one, view cards, veil cards, middle buttoned, and discard pile, bottom buttoned, which the, which these? With these, oh god, <laughs> I'm getting there. Uh, this area shows the current scoring for the game with the icons representing the different clans. Got it, yep, we know. Don't go through all of the clans, please. Oh, it's doing it. This is, this token shows the number of victory points up for grabs this game. They are awarded to players during the end of the game and then uh, when they run out and when they run out the game ends got it ascension style the blue tokens next to the icon show how many victory points you have won so far the gray is how many victory points you have banked which only count at the end of the game with the blue circles in your field counting your on deck how many to buy up to two advancements per turn Advancements are added to the cards in your field to upgrade them and turn them into more powerful cards. The cost of each enhancement is shown in the top right of each enhancement. Right. Numbers. Got it. Um, let's see how to buy these. Your turn is divided into three phases. Planning phase, harvest phase, and discard phase. Oh, planting, not planning. This shows the current phase of your turn, which is the planting phase. The button on the left is used for pushing the cards to the right of the, uh, of the deck to your field. I don't know what I just said. We will go into more detail on this later, so for now, let's press this button. Oh, yeah. Let's see, you are now in the harvest phase, which which is when enhancements can be bought. You have enough to buy an enhancement that's going blue. Let's buy this one. As we'll be able to afford. All right, I'm going to, you know what? I think I understand it now. Let's enough with the tutorials. Let's just play. Number of players. Let's do three. Oh, I like that there's like four different levels of difficulty. Easy, kinda easy, kinda hard, hard. Who goes first, me? I'm first. Oh no, I already have three things showing. And I can only buy these three items. So let's buy a fertile soil. I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I buy? Maybe I should have kept step, kept watching that tutorial. Oh. This must be somebody else's turn. I don't remember how to play this game. <laughs> when played, you may discard any other card in your field. Is this me? Is this my turn now? Why do I have so many cards out here now? How do I buy stuff? Why did I keep doing that tutorial? Alright, we're going back to the tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing.
What up, whoever's out there, whoever's listening? Well, we're trying this again. I'm not going to read everything again the second time, though. Let's get to the buying. I know, area, advancements, these couldn't be bought. That's my stuff. This is my deck, this is my field. Automatically apprentice at the end of your turn until you accumulate three. Oh, that's why I had like seven of them. Duh. How does my turn end? Yeah, come on. I know. I know all this. I've, I read it. I spent time figuring it out. Alright. This is where we start. So the harvest phase begins. You have enough to afford the glowing blue. Afford a will occupy either the top, bottom, or middle of the card's destination. Shows that it will be uh, sit on top of the top third of the card. Yeah, I get that. So how come I couldn't drag it earlier when I was trying to play? No. Hey, shut up! You are in two. The flower, draw next with a deck, place it into your field. There's nothing else you can purchase, so we can end the turn. Then take their turn before you can take your turn. Press the button to continue. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. This must be green player's turn. Oh yeah, because there's this is a different color players. We're getting there. We're understanding, kind of. Kind of, sort of, I don't know. Continue to the next tutorial. No, let's go back. Let's try to do this again. Classic. Two players, both easy. Because I'm a dumb. I haven't figured this out yet. All right. So the green player bought something. Now it is my turn. Do I press push? No. I want to buy something. See, this was this was I don't understand this part. What am I doing wrong? Uh oh. <laughs> I guess the you can press your luck on that phase. Come on, somebody's got to understand this. Somebody's got to remember how to play this game. All right. So, I'm going to buy a seedling. Place it there. Done. How do we get victory points? Oh, here they are, right there. What up, big head, Zach? Alright. We're gonna move on to the planting phase. When played, you may discard any other card in your field. Yeah, we're gonna buy that. I don't know if I'm doing the right things here, but... Um... Well, I just don't, I don't remember exactly how to play. I don't remember what the strategy of this is. It's been, it's been about a year since I played the Mystic Veil, vale, and I think my wife and I only played once. Oh, we played twice. And we liked it. Right, so it's a bit of a press your luck. And this actually does it automatically for you. It'll just go boop until it has the three, the on deck one showing.
How do I get more money? Oh, because I have these. That's how I got money. So this one will add two money to my turn next turn. And I want to try to buy stuff like this, this hawk. Oh. Gotcha. So, what do the end of the game victory points look like? Run fail cards which are bought with ruins. Oh, that's right! Some of the cards have the little ruin symbols on them, and that's how you buy this stuff up here at the top. It's all coming back. Ah, and here's the end of the game victory points. But this comes from the stack here, and that's what determines when the game ends, kind of like Ascension. Yep, it all, I got it back. It's all, it all came back now. Thank you. Now let's see if I can see what I can do here. I wish it I don't understand the point of this, like why would I wanna push? Because if this card's telling me that the next card is a thing, like why would I be able to push? Oh, because I could keep going until I get four or more. Then why does it even show me? Oh. Spoiled. But the card that's on the deck over here that's flipped over, that doesn't, it's not considered part of my field, right? It's just kind of the next card. But then I don't know what's underneath it. I think we played that wrong when we played the actual board game version. Oh, I pressed my luck. Wait, it's letting me go? Nope, I spoiled. Might I have to discard a card? Or what? I'll discard a cursed land. Oh, because this card played. Nice! And now I have a ton of money. Wait, this isn't my turn. Dang it! <laughs> Wait, no, I do have a ton of money, but it wasn't my turn. I'm so confused. I'm not sure I'm crazy about the UI. It's a little hard to know what's going on when other players are taking their turn in this. But I have a ton of money. Well, now we need something like this bear claw. Ooh, this one has this green symbol. What is that? Oh, that's like a... a that gives me an extra tree, right? So if I buy... And pre-deal your field when the other player is taking their turns. The green trees cancel out red decays. Now I got that. And now that does that count this turn? Nope. It didn't it didn't decrease it. Beast Brothers turn. Land Warden's turn. What up, Rue? I finally, I finally learned all the rules again. It took a minute, but uh, Big Head Zack was here and he helped out quite a bit. Ah, see, now I got three showing. But that means that there's probably... How, ba how many cards are in my deck? Two cards? So I can probably press my luck a little here. 
Nope, shouldn't have done it. I spoiled. I'm just playing some uh, Mystic Veil vale on Steam. This is a new release. Nine. Gotcha. I can keep track now. So that's three. Plus two in the deck. Oh, I got tons of stuff. Oh, I got tons of empty stuff. We need... We got four. I need to feel, fill some of the stuff. So I'm just going to take two of these. That way I can always get more money. Or mana, or whatever they call it in this. And this deck always has three level ones, three level twos, and three level threes dealt to it. Ooh, look, I have a bear claw. I need more of those. I need to try to buy this thing. Oh, it's so pretty. And that's got four ruin stones, or whatever we call them. Mystic stones on it. Ah. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna take another one of these. Crap. I'm gonna put that there. Honestly, though, I should have put that on something like this. You know, the nice thing about this over the actual game is you don't have to deal with sliding everything into those little clear slips and then taking them all out at the end of the game. Discard the curse land. Oh my gosh, look at all that stuff I got. Do you know how to play Mystic Veil, vale, Ruguru? It's not, it doesn't have a solo mode, so I'm assuming you don't own it. Alright, I got seven again, which... Uh, I think I'm going to take one of these owls, because they give me two gold and a victory point at the end. And I may discard any other card in my field that's pretty baller. Alright, so Big Head, Big Head Zach can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but here's the basics. You have, this is your deck of cards, and this is your field. And at the beginning of your turn, you'll deal out cards from your deck. Well, actually, it's at the end of your turn while other people are taking their turn. Until you have three of these little red ruin ruin tokens. Um, not ruin. What are they? Dead trees? Um, showing. So, like, there's one here. There's one there. And then you always will flip a card over on your deck. So, this one doesn't count as being in the field, but it's its dead tree icon counts towards the three. If I have any green trees, then they will deduct its decaying trees. Um, the green trees will deduct from the decaying trees, and any of the blue dots are money that I can spend to buy from this middle row. And then there's a uh, bears. So like, see how this has like this bear claw, or this has this yellow burst. You could, if you have enough of those, you can buy these Veil cards up here. And they give you points, victory points. And some cards give you these little stones, like this Swarm Hive has these, it's four. That deducts it from this value here next to the your turn. When this runs out, the game is over. And then some of your cards have a little value down here in the bottom corner and these give you victory points at the end of the game so then you'll add up all of the cards with the gray the little gray stones 
and all of the blue stones that you've acquired, and whoever has the most at the end wins. Correct? Did I miss anything? Oh, what is the what does this little shield looking thing do? The blue knight. The blue Budweiser knight. Ah, so see, look, boom, I got three. How much, how many cards are in my deck? Two. So now my deck is full of them. The helms are counted by other card effects. Which refer them, they do nothing on their own. Gotcha. So like this one. All right, gain one for each helm on this card. And I can add more helms to this so it could be worth more. I'm gonna press my luck once. Oh, sweet! I got four, three. Do I do it again? There's only two cards in here. Three cards. Oh, that's the field. Where's my deck? Um, now I lost my stuff. I don't- I think this might be the discard pile. It doesn't tell you. This game does have some glaring problems like that. Hey, I'm not gonna feed you. Go ask Jenny to feed you. Go on. The dogs want food. Uh, do I press my luck again? Oh, then they want to go outside. Or then pet them if they want attention. Uh, I'm gonna take the four. And I'm gonna get one of these little swirly gigs. No, I'm gonna take this grassland. Oh, I only had three. Well, crap. That was a wasted turn. Go back! How do I go back? Undo! I don't think I can undo. Ooh, I get to discard a card. Why not that one? Oh, another discard. Oh, and another discard. Holy smokes, I got ten dollars! Woo! Forgot I had my audio over here. I can make my sound effects. So look at that turn. That was a hell of a turn. One, two, three. Remember that if your on deck card is yeah, I know, I I completely forgot. And if I said you may click to cancel. So I think this is my discard pile. It says six, which would have been my last turn. Alright, well I have ten. Let's see what we can afford. This guy, harvest two for each on this card. I don't have any of those little skulls, though. The stag is worth two skulls, or does that count as one? The stag comes with four right out the gates and another bear club, but it does give me a decay. But I think I want the stag. Or the swarm? If I do the swarm, do I have any twos left? I don't think I do. Uh, nope. Let's take the stag. Let's do it. Oops, I actually didn't mean to put that there. <laughs> but it works out. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Oh, that's how many cards are left in my deck. Not my discard pile. I don't know exactly. I still don't know where my discard pile is. Oh, I can look at other players' cards. Uh, only four, and I... Ah, oh, busted. Discard. 
this card. I got seven again. The dreaded seven. It's just like when you're playing uh, Dominion and you're trying to get eight so you can pick up that that douchey. No, douchey's five. Could press my luck. Actually, I'm gonna buy this because it gives me one of those little things and I need those And you can't ever replace something right especially not one of the One of these the curse lands You go away? Stop it, stop. Mocha, go. Go on. Go. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. An expansion adds cards that can be sleeved under. Nice. Ongoing. Hmm. I don't, I don't know what I want to do here. I keep I keep ending up a little shy on on the money. I do like this owl because he does give me a lot of money. It's actually what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this owl. So is the better strategy to make your cursed cards better? Or to just try to get something on every card? Or to try to build up like certain cards so that way every turn you'll have one killer hand. Yes. One more, come on. Oh, yeah. That, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So, the great part about the game is that there is no one good, one ultimate strategy. So let's see, these are some symbols. We need, um, uh, I need, I only have four. I need more. Should have kept track. I have two cards left in the deck. Damn it. Alright, this time I'm gonna keep track. All right, that's one, two, three. Uh, we're gonna buy that wolf. Oh. I'm gonna start making some of my decay cards better. Get rid of this curse land. Oh. We're have we got another one of those hands coming. Damn. So that's four, five, six. Oh, I added that one. Seven. I have nine dollars. Ooh, do I have that wolf out here still? Oh no, I just bought him. Can I afford a veil card yet? I have two bear claws. Nope. Uh, 
Nope, I need something like this. If I buy that, will I still be able to buy anything else? No, everything's too expensive now. Shoot. But I am gonna buy the plow. Oh, next week. Feel weird wasting four points. So that's eight, nine, ten. So that's all of them. So I know I can press my luck and take this last card. Because I know all ten of them are out there. Unless I miscounted somehow. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, and that thing's kind of good. What are my chances of doing it again? Guess not very good because I know that uh, the other ten, eight are in, oh, seven are in this deck. Are in the deck somewhere. Um, I'm gonna buy another plow. I guess you don't want to put too many of your, uh, cancel. You don't want to put too many of the, the stuff on your curse cards if you're going to fill your hand with these discards. Because you want to be able to get rid of these cards in lieu of stuff that gives you money. So we had one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we have 14 money 14 oh look and i have one of a bear claw a sunburst and some leaves can i buy anything how do i buy that how do i buy this stuff i guess i have to move on to the buying phase look i can buy one of all those things what is the purpose of buying the veil cards They're like, these are like persistent things that are always active, right? So I'll always gain one extra harvest. VP and ongoing points. Yep, got it. I still have $14. Woo. This card is worth one at the end of the game for each of all of those symbols. I think that's what we're going to take right there. Is it each of those symbols on the card? Yes. Uh, so she needs to be on something like this card. That's got a lot of stuff. That would make it worth four victory points. Four, five... We're gonna do that. Holy shit, I still have enough for one more. The Life Bringer Seed. Ongoing effect. Cancel. Ooh. Ooh. Put that right there. Now that card's baller. Two advancements and two veil cards. Nice. Yeah, it's a good point because I just bought three cards in one turn. I lost track of my count. I think that was five, six, seven. So we're going to press our luck. Yeah, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want this guy. 
but he does come with this little sunbursty thing. Oh, wait, I can do... <sighs> it's not in the right spots. That's another thing, Rugru. They have these little notches on the side, and when you're playing the actual board game, uh, you take the cards and you put them in the card sleeves, and each card sleeve can hold three cards, but they have to have spots for like these little gray things. Oh, the purple it swirls a wild. Oh, that changes everything. Well, I guess it doesn't really change anything at the moment. But I should buy this because that's a wild. Hmm. Well, to continue mitigating... Oh, I need this one. That will negate that decay. Oh, somebody ended the game. I came in last place. Honestly, not by much though. But if I recall, the game was always really close. All right, again. Let's try this again. Two div, two players. I kind of know what I'm doing this time, so we're gonna bump up the difficulty to kind of easy. So the difficulties are easy, kind of easy, kind of hard, and hard. I don't know what those two are actually called. Alright, I think I have, I got, I'm going into this one with a little bit better approach. And I'm keeping track, because you said you have nine, so I can think about pressing my luck. So there's three now. Gotta remember that. Um, and we're gonna buy, I'm just gonna skip this, we're gonna buy... So... Or five. Oh, he already got something with a thing on it. And I'm gonna buy this. Hey, will you get me a giant water? My throat kind of hurts. Somebody in the house has gotten me sick. She's the main one of the main reasons we're not playing. We're doing a digitally hack tonight is because she doesn't feel good. That I don't know what we're supposed we're going to play right now. We have a ton of stuff we need to learn. Ooh, I could get this and already hop on top of some some of these veil cards. Yeah, let's do that. And that's all the cards. So that means the next one I'm going through the deck for the other six. That does sound good. All right, where was I? Now, let's see. I don't want to do that right now. Search your deck for a card, then you may put it into your discard pile. Your deck will then be shuffled. Mm. These, were, these came in really handy last game, so I'm gonna pick up the, the Deadwood Harvester. And we're gonna put him. This time I gotta make sure I put these cards on cards that have money. Because I had a couple times where I was getting to shuffle up my deck, but I didn't have they those those cards didn't have any money on them. Oh bu 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 b
Let's see. I can only buy these three cards. I don't really want to do this one yet. Let's do the money. This is the dead. It's the full deck. I'm like, you know what? Ah! All right, well, there's four going into the discard pile. Five, six, seven. So there's only two more out of six. But I do have six money right now, and I can buy quite a bit of stuff. As money you can pay for ruins as costs ruins can cover it. Wait, as money it can pay for any ruin. Oh, it's as a cost. Wait, explain that again. This line uh, is what you said the last time. As money it can pay for any ruin. What exactly is a ruin? Are these the ruins? These are the veil cards. Or are these little symbols the ruins? Ooh, that one's one of everything. That's what I need. In the meantime, oh, I already have one. Oh, it's grasslands, because it can get rid of some of these decays. Ah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that on there. Ah, so the ruined Purchasable cards? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's right, because I had six dollars. Uh, so these little symbols are called ruins. That's what I missed. That's what I was missing. Oh, cool, you can zoom in. So we'll buy a fertile soil and put it here. Discard a ruined land or a cursed land. Three, four, four, four. So, like, this is a wild, and I want it. The Druid Song, it shall be mine. Ah, I gotta keep track of the of the decay. I keep forgetting. Does every game start out at 28, or is it only because I played a three-player game? Would it be different if there was a four-player game? Or a two-player game? Balls. But, I have a wild ruin! All these stupid decays. Do I take the wild? Wait, why won't it let me take the hawk? Oh, because I don't have any place to put it. While on your field, you have to... you have one less to spend. I'm gonna buy the druid song. I think it hurt me last game that I only bought one Veil card.
Now I can buy a hawk. Uh, but instead, I, this might be foolish, but I'm gonna try to negate one of those. And buy a fertile land. Fertile soil. Where is everybody tonight? Nine o'clock? Only, only Rugru and Big Head Zach here? Is it because we're not playing board games or is it because Beth's not here? Hmm. It's probably what it is. So that's what you gotta do to set yourself apart on Twitch. You just had to have a girl streaming with you and then everybody comes. Literally. Boom. Cha! Ah, oh, I don't have the thing. And I don't have hashtag dad joke, because I don't have... Hold on, I can turn that on. Nope, I can't. Maybe I can. I should have put the Badoom Cha. <laughs> Shay says she only comes for the boobs. I, uh, you know what? I get it. Hold on, let me log into all the channels. Hold on, hold on, stop with the noises. All right, now you can do the dad, the dad joke and go red. Go green. Ha, I blocked the go red. I blocked it with the go green. All right, back to the game. <laughs> Enough screwing around. Uh, we are going to buy the plow. And place it here. I'm gonna make one baller card. Uh, yep. I have lots of money. I only have one of those. I need more. I need more ruins. I need nine so I can buy this this int elder <laughs> int. And elder. You know, we'll press our luck. Yes, I got an extra one. That's seven. Oh, that honestly, didn't do any good. <laughs> Again. Ooh. Undo. What are the dots? Dot dot dot. Well, on your field, you have one less to spend. So that does that mean that this mean this negates that value? Uh, let's speed up the other player's turn. Oh, Ruger, you missed it. The whole re- so this is in- in, uh, windowed mode. Because if you turn off windowed mode, it automatically jumps to the 640p, 640 resolution, and you cannot change it. It started off fine. The game started in full screen at 1080p. And I tried to change it to 1440p, and it wouldn't let me do this, so I turned it on window mode. And then look what it does. Teeny tiny. And then you have to kind of guess whatever you're clicking on. That is a huge, huge bug in this, in their app. That I, you cannot, you, if you cannot change your resolution when you're in full screen mode. And it only does 1080p for the first time. That when you first ever load up the game. Don't leave. Huge air. Huge bug. Fix it. Who made this game? It was, um... Going to, going to Steam right now. Nomad Games was the developer. Somebody tweet them out right now. 
All right, I have a really good turn, but I'm one shy of this elder, but I think I'm gonna risk it. Yes! I can buy the elder! And we're gonna put, put that bad boy right, oh. Right here. Boom. Now next turn, next time he comes around, I'll be ready for him. Oh, can I buy something? I can. And I will. Like, so what, what really sucks about it is that when you're in full screen mode, it disables the... The resolution it automatically sets it to that 4 480p and then disables it and you cannot just leave it enabled when you're in full screen mode and it just renders whatever it's supposed to be because it fills up my whole screen it just looks like shit it's honestly it's not a hard change uh, as a programmer i know that all it is is just an if statement that says if window if not windowed mode, disable this line. That's all it is. It would be a four minute change. I guess I can only buy one card or I can press my luck. Again. Ah, oh, bitch. No. There we go. Uh, discard. Curse land. Goodbye. Ten. Ooh, what can I buy? A stag? A whip. A willow the wisp. I have a bunch of stuff. Oh, I can't buy. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe I can. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. That'll give me one wild ruin every game, every round now. I think I, I think I'm in a good shape now. This is shaping up to be a much better round than the last one. I am gonna press my luck because I want this last. Ah. Darn. All right. Let's see here. I can buy stuff. I don't need to press my luck. There's no need to do it. So let's buy this harvest gain two and you may buy a third enhancement. I don't really want that. What are these? I want some victory points at harvest gain a wolf foot. Let's take that. And if you were to spoil, you may discard this card to gain one. I don't really want to discard cards once per harvest. You may spend two on any nice. Let's buy that one. Now we get to do some real shopping here. Let's buy this. And we're done. That was a good round. That was a really good round. All right. Um, it's not a very good hand. There we go, there's four. Can I oh it's five, so now I can buy stuff. That's how come I can buy stuff. Um Let's do this. Let's buy this life bringer so we can cancel one of these effects. For future turns, and we'll gain one extra gold on every harvest. Oh, it's getting so close to the end, just as it's starting to get good. Reek! Reek! 
Oh, it's my turn again. I no, I turn. I forgot I turned it on fast mode. I was so used to having to wait forever for my next turn. Uh, all right, so we have seven, so we're good there. We have three things. So we'll be able to buy a bunch of crap from up here. We're good. Let's not even press our luck. Oh, I can almost buy everything. Uh, we're gonna buy this because I want the victory points. Oh, and I can use cards too. Use it. Okay. Look, now we can buy more stuff. We're gonna buy this card. I guess I was buying it. And now, let's see. Feral Chieftain? What do I got? Um, regular cards. I don't have any with those little hats, so I'll do this card. Final turn! Oh no! Ah! I got last place again! I thought I was doing so good. What is my collection? It must not be out yet. It's all the rules. I should have read the rules. Alright, we're gonna do one more game and then I'm gonna call it for the night. Go work on some of my other game. This time... You know, let's stick with the three-player game on kind of easy. What are you laughing at? Kind of easy? The difficulties were easy, kind of easy, hard, or kind of hard and hard. Just watch the playthrough. Oh. I did the tutorial, but I couldn't figure out how to pick up cards, because every time I did this, they wiggled. I didn't realize I had to press the next button to go to that phase, because I forgot about the whole press your luck stuff. Some good streams out there of this? That must be where everybody's at tonight, watching the other, these other better streams. See how it is. Um, let's buy this Poddlings. Um, it's kind of a shitty turn. No, no need to press my luck yet. Let's just buy some fertile land. Fertile soil. Ooh, now I have four hit four turn or four gold. And this one's got two little things on it, so we're gonna buy that. don't know what that noise was. I think somebody might have just died in the other room. Um, we're not going to press our luck because there's two ways we'd get all the cards. We have two. Let's just take one and put it here. I'm kind of... This approach, I'm going to try to put a little bit of something on everything and not stack up one card really good until I get to where I can need to stack up one card really good. I'd rather have a card that does everything than cards that do nothing. So now I'm back at two. Not a lot of options. I don't want to put stuff on here. You know what? I'm gonna press my luck. Yeah! Now I have three. 
So let's pick up one of these flower things to go with that. So now that has that's worth three dollars. It's also worth a decay, but because it's worth three dollars, it's worth something. Look, I just got seven holy balls. That was an early round to get seven items. You can get this little, the glee, the the calm catcher. Oh look, and I can already buy uh, some victory point stuff. This this turn is, this this round is uh shaping up to be, be pretty nice. Well, I spoke too soon. This one's kind of shit, but I'm gonna press my luck. I have one card left. I don't think. It's um, gonna have a decay on it. I was wrong. I spoke too soon. I've jinxed everything. But I have three. Where are my people that let me draw discard new cards? Like this Mindful Owl. I need more of those. Those always help out a lot. You know what? I'm going to try this Cleansing Rain this turn. This time. Let's just move on to planting and take that. Mm, yes. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. But look, now I get three. No! Um, I want to keep the fertile soil. Look, I got eight dollars! Look at all those empties out there. I'm gonna buy me this mindful owl. And a fertile soil. And a victory points. Let's see, I should be able to buy two, as I have a bear claw, I have two of those things. I should be able to buy one world tree and one lean line nexus. I will say that a lot of the, the card names are a bit ridiculous. Uh, let's keep that. Let's get rid of a curse land. Oh, no, this is... Oh, I'm discarding. Where's my real cards? There we go. Eleven?! In this bear so of 11 I could buy like a bear and the feral chieftain or another Ooh. mindful owl or the stag well the stag I don't know if I want to do the stag do I have cards with the st no let's buy the mindful owl And the chieftain. All right, I think I'm gonna win this round. I think I've got my deck built in a very powerful way. So as I move forward, you know what? I'm just gonna stop saying it. I I just spoiled. Okay, get rid of a curse land. Um, we're not gonna get rid of that. Um, fifteen. Oh, 
Fifteen... $15 to spend. Ooh. Go green. Thank you. All right, so I have $15 to spend. What do I want to spend it on? Do I have anybody? I have do. I have one guy right there. And I have a I could buy this. Oh, I can't put him there. Hmm. Poop. Well, let's see. Wait, this guy has it. So this one says, Grove Tender has an ongoing one for each thing on this card. So I could put this guy... Damn it! No, okay, I have this one. Put him there. So now that will negate... That'll give me two of these Tree of Life things. And now let's do the Bear Claw. Let's put the bear on this. But now the bear also gives me money. I feel like that was a good play. Art's nice. The art is very nice. I just noticed that this chief, this bear totem has... Oh, I, I just realized that they animate a little too. Oh, they animate when you mouse over them. That's kind of fancy. I would have never have noticed that if you hadn't have said the art is nice. Like even the plow does something. I mean, they just kind of move, but it's still, it's, uh, it's uh, I like that little... Uh, oh, 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 bird, bird. Dang it. Spoiled. <laughs> now I only have four. Come on. Look, this next one's stacked. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna buy the one with the four because it gives me one of anything. It's a wild. <laughs> Thanks, I actually started shading the, the beggar last night. And I redid all the cards, uh, all the card descriptions. Woo! Hey, look at that. That's a new, I, I, I don't remember putting that in there, but that's awesome. Gosh, five months already? <laughs> MP3 chaos! Woo woo! That was honestly a much less intrusive thing. Oh, but notice MP3 Chaos, there are no biddies. Nobody's got the biggest biddies yet, but you have the latest biddies. It's just been a while. Look, it even says down here, recent subscriber down here. <laughs> All right, what was I? Where was I? All right, I have to. I have a six dollars to spend, and don't really know what to spend it on. Amateurs. <laughs> Aruguru, you're like the OG.
Oh, I'm gonna howl at the moon. I put this, this card is now worth five money when it comes around. Oh, sweet. I should be able to buy some uh, Veil cards this turn. Do I want to press my luck? I don't... I kind of do. Cleansing Curse. Oh, sweet. I'm going to discard this card. And now I kind of know what's coming up. Hmm. Yeah, now I gave myself seven cards. Or seven dollars, and I can buy all kinds of stuff. Does this know? Like, why is that green and not yellow all of a sudden? Boom, look at that. I just went, I just got nine dollars. Push your luck. I just pushed my luck five times. I got lucky though because I was able to see my deck ahead of times. This does have online play. I haven't tried it. I don't usually do anything online because people take forever. But if you have this, maybe we can play sometime. It's honestly, it's not that bad. It took me a little while to get used to the UI. Uh, I felt weird because like I can I don't really ever see what other people are doing But I realize you can click here to see what they're doing not that what they're ever doing is important because I don't care All I know is that The yeah, the red guy is winning Green is doing pretty awful Once per harvest no this card. Uh, I want the victory points. It's always where I'm slacking. You know what? I might as well take it because I can afford it. Alright, now I have nine. And I want... Stewie, what do I got? This has already got two guys on there. I can't put them in those places, though. Hmm... This... Will let me get rid of that. So this is now a free card, essentially. A non-decay. Um, no. Let's not discard it. What we need to do is we need to all play some some scythe online one day. Cancel all of the little thingies. I have ten, so I can buy both of those and make these two. That's what I'm gonna do. Or, ooh, no, I know what I'm gonna do. Got it. So I'm gonna buy this guy, who gives me some victory points, but then I'm gonna negate his. There we go. I negated those two because this says cancels all decays on this card. So now this card is just all stuff. Good stuff. Oh, I still have money? Oh, yeah, no, don't in a turn yet. If you were to spoil, you may discard this to gain one. Buy that, and we'll buy this if you can. Turn 19. Uh, Ruguru, I hate to say this. I tried out Anthem and I hated it.
I hate it for all the same reasons I don't really like Destiny. And it's mainly because I never really knew what I was doing or where I was supposed to be going. When I was playing the mission, I was just running around shooting shit with people. I, none of us really knew what we were doing. I was not impressed. It looked incredible. The graphics were amazing. But I was very disappointed with the gameplay. Ah. This? Got it. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy this wolf and make this card OP. See? See? <laughs> the whole game was like that. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep it. Uh, we're gonna keep it for sure. We're gonna get rid of, a uh, Curse Land. Oh, man. Discard that. <laughs> Holy crap! I have 25 gold for the next turn. <laughs> Look at all this crap. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 cards. 19 cards. 21, $25 and then I can buy pretty much everything up here. Anything I want. I'm not even gonna bother trying to press my lock. We're just gonna start buying stuff. I don't. I don't even know what to buy with this much money. What do we got? Let's see. That one's full. That's full. Uh, this this bad boy is worth seven victory points. Let's take it. Do I have a card that's got... For... Hmm. So I have this one that'll let me cancel all negative effects. But that would mean that whatever I put, if I did it on this card, would have to go on the top. Unless I have... Ah, I do have one at the top. Perfect. So we're going to take this Swarm Hive and the cancel all negative things. And I'm out of... Oh, you can only buy two cards on a turn. You can only buy two from this row and two from the top row, but still. My god, I'm glad, I'm glad that was on video. 25 card turn. Or t 19 cards in one turn. Get rid of this curse land. Uh, we're gonna keep that. Um. Get rid of this. <laughs> it's doing it again. And we're gonna discard that. <laughs> and we're gonna discard this. And well, that's where we're gonna end our turn. Or win that. So now I know that there's the next card in here. Uh, it's not even letting me. It's not even letting me press my luck. 
just fine. It was another $26 that turn. We'll take the money. What else we got down here? I can spend two. If I wanted to buy this. We need, um, wait, hold on. I wanna buy. I want to buy this. No, I'll get the bear claws. How many of those do I have? Two? So I can only get two bear claws. I'm not going to be able to get that, but I could get this if I just buy one bear claw. Buy one bear claw. No. I don't know what that just did. Oh, it lets me spend two dollars to use one of these as a wild. Got it. But now I can buy this. And I can select the spirit. Woo! Kush, Kushman's it. Thanks for the biddies. Oh no, thanks for the follow. I don't know what the sounds are anymore. Look, you are now the most recent follower. Yay. Purchase. Uh, I... Did, did that finally take it? I don't. I don't understand. All right, now we have a ton of money. So it's gain. Gain one for every two cards in your field. Holy crap, this is gonna this card's gonna end it. I guess it's when it's played though. Two for every helmet. I don't have any helmets. There's my two purchases. Oh, Jesus. I can buy something else up here. We'll just take the wild card. Felt like I bossed the final round. I'm pretty sure I won this round. First place! Yeah.